The Lay family is up early on their paddle property at Woodlands in Queensland's southwest to catch the school bus to Miles, one and a half hours away. During the drought it was pretty hard, they were helping us feed cattle before they went to school every morning so it was up even earlier and trying to yeah, do that, milk cows, all that sort of stuff. It's either do that travel or go to boarding school so our ch kids choose not to go to boarding school and yeah, small sacrifice for the lifestyle we live I think. Australian workers spend an average of four and a half hours a week getting to and from work. The lay children will clock up that much in just two days. Yeah, it's good because you're able to go home every day anyway, even if you only get an hour of sunlight, <laughs> sleep in your own bed. Nearly a third of the local primary school students ride the country buses. So in 2020, uh, my bus will reach 500,000 kilometres, so a half a million kilometres I've done in, in the 10 years that I've been doing uh, the bus run on my bus. The school bell rings early for an extra food break in the morning, helping the young commuters stay fresh during the day. We swapped our lunches around, so we have our big lunch first and then an afternoon tea break again at 1.30 to 2. And those three breaks break up the day for the kids, give them a chance for energy. And with primary and high school students sharing so much time together, there are some benefits to the long commute. A lot of kids you'll find um, when you're checking their reading folders that um, they've asked someone who's in grade 12 or one of their high school kids to listen to them read so that once they're off their bus, they're yeah, home free, can do what they like. That's 180 kilometres down today, 35,000 to go until the end of the school year. Peter Gunders, ABC News, Miles.